What's up, guys? Check this out. Whoa. This is a polarized sunglasses, and this is a Sony. If you have been using a Sony for some time, you would have run into this problem by now. If you're wearing a polarized sunglasses, the screen will go dark. Right now, I have my polarized sunglasses in front of the lens, and if it feels a bit distorted, uh, it's actually because this is a prescripted sunglasses. Sorry about that. So when you vlog, like this camera is now your point of view. Here you go, check this out. Whoa. Let's do it again. So now, even if you're wearing polarized sunglasses, you can see the screen again. This is just a phone screen protector that I got cheaply during my last trip in Thailand. This is something you can get from Amazon as well. Pretty cool, huh? Let's untape this from the lens. We don't need this anymore. Okay, a very sketchy setup right here. The reason you are not seeing the, the Sony ZV-1 flippy screen when you wear a polarized sunglasses is because the light comes into polarization. Your polarized sunglasses is like a blind, a vertical blind that only let a vertical polarized light through. But the problem with the Sony ZV-1 flippy screen is that it seems to just let the horizontal polarized light through. So when you have a horizontal polarized light coming out the screen and a vertical blind on your eyes, nothing's gonna come through because vertical blinds only let vertical light through. This piece of whatever this is x light a uh, photo wave plate which retards one of the axes of the light and as the result you have a circular polarized light which means whatever comes through this piece of plastic is no longer a linear polarized light which means you now have a horizontal and vertical directions of light and the vertical direction of light now can get through these polarized sunglasses. This is just a cheap phone screen protector. There's nothing special about it except for its uh, quarter wave plate property, which I didn't actually um, expect. That's actually how scientists uh, discover anything new. It's a uh, bloody accident. So I went and looked at the property of this presumably a fancy version of the screen protector. We have uh, anti-fingerprint, we have anti-smudge, we have smooth touch, we have reflection and glare reduction and we have easy to apply well i guess that's just an adhesive part of this which is convenient actually i think the property of this screen protector that is associated with a quarter wave play property is the reflection and glare reduction so next time if you're gonna look for a screen protector for your sony cv1 flippy screen just buy a phone screen protector that has an anti-glare anti-reflection property for those who are new here my name is natsini i am a physics phd student working on quantum quantum stuff and I deal with lasers a lot. I know a thing or two about light, I think. Well, I hope that was useful guys and hopefully that will save you some money from having to buy another pair of sunglasses that is not a polarized sunglasses. If you think this video is useful, please help me out by like and subscribe to the channel so that I may have a thousand subscribers and someday YouTube may pay me for my coffee and instant noodles. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. I can indeed see myself again. Tracking still works. Oh, good. <laughs>